Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's webinar. Hey everyone. Hey, hey everyone. Hi. So guys, happy new year. It might be too late, two weeks into January, but I'm saying it anyway, because this is our first webinar of 2022. And we're really, really excited that you're all joining us for today's session. Who have we got on the call today? Who's going first to introduce themselves? Oh, go on then, Matt. I'll go on, go. Donna. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Donna, and I'm part of our growth team based here with uh, Matt in London. And Anita and Doug <laughs> in London. <laughs> okay, then. I'll go then. Uh, I'm Anita. I'm part of the Pay and Build team here in uh, London as well. I'm Doug, and I head up the Pay and Build team in London too. Oh, we're in, um, the, in the presence of... Uh, Giants, Matt. We've got we Pay are. and Bill today. <laughs> we are. It's the Matt and Donna show with two <laughs> extra special guests today. <laughs> Love it. Special, yeah. A not so scary topic of Pay and Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, if you don't know me, my name's Matt. Um, I run our CS team um, here at Vinny, and we'll be running through the webinar today to go through release version 17.1 highlights. It'll probably take us. Guys, what are we thinking? Are we, are we feeling chatty today? Half an hour, 35 minutes or so? We're going to try and stick it. to half an hour. Yeah. It's worth saying that it, it was a humdinger of a release. Um, <laughs> and um, and so if we went through it all, then we'd probably take 24 hours. But we've we've picked a few real highlights that we know are going to add instant value. So we'll try and get it in 30 minutes for you. Absolutely. Um, guys, while we wait, there's quite a few people registered for today's session. So we're going to wait two or three minutes before we start. Do let us know in the chat where you're coming in from. Let us know how you're feeling. You know the drill. If you've been on one of our webinars before, you know that it's very, very interactive, very engaging. So let us know in the chat on the on the right hand side. Uh, if you can't hear us or you can't see us or see the screen again, go in the chat and let us know and we'll, we'll sort that out for you. In terms of today's agenda, guys, we've got quite a lot to run through in half an hour or so. So we're going to start on kind of updates for 2022 in the vision. We're going to show you deals, so an introduction to our deals module. And we're going to go through some really cool enhancements to the live list. And then we're going to bring the pay and bill experts in, and they're going to run through availability updates, shift scheduler updates, and job templates. And then finally, we'll finish up on any questions, any feedback you've got. And we'll also share our roadmap with you as well. Um, so that's the agenda for today. Guys, how are we feeling? Are we all excited? What a treat. Very excited. Always excited. <laughs> good, 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 good. So, guys, let's crack into it. I, I hope you can all see us and hear us, and you're feeling good. Let's um, let's jump into it. So, Ooh. yeah, should we should we crack in? Donna, do you want to give us a start? Yeah, why not? So, um, are we are we going to start on the vision, or do you want me to go straight into deals? It's up to you. Right. And what are you feeling about? Well, I, well, as Matt said, guys, you know, this is the first one of 2022. Yeah. So it would be remiss of us not to um, say how delighted we all are to have you um, in 2022. It's never been a better time to be a Vincherry customer. There's definitely, um, that is definitely true. Um, lots going on um, this year. Our product roadmap is more exciting and aggressive than <clears throat> ever before it's all going on i mean we can barely keep up so uh, we're glad that you're you're joining us for the ride um Absolutely. but i'll i'll kick off um i'll give you a a quick intro into a module that actually um some of you could be forgiven for thinking it's new it's been there for quite some time now but we've given it some updates which make it more relevant um, and enable you to, to actually use this. So what is deals? Think of statement of work. Um, think of projects that you guys do outside of the day-to-day -day recruitment. And we're seeing this more and more, particularly post-COVID, where our customers are building more strategic relationships with their clients as opposed to just recruiting contingent uh, jobs for them. Um, and so you want to have a place where you can manage that. So if I give you a scenario of, um, say you win a project, and that project is to recruit 30 people for an office move. Um, You've got options with um, in the in the core ATS CRM to increase headcount. But what if those 30 people are all doing different jobs? What do you do then? You add 30 jobs. How do you bring them all together? That's where something like this can come in. Or it may be that you work for your clients outside of recruitment altogether. Maybe you do salary benchmarking for them. Maybe you do some sort of consultancy. Now you don't need to buy an, an additional CRM to be able to manage those non-recruitment projects. You can do it all inside Vinny. OK, so I'm not going to give you a full demo of it because we would be here for a while. I'll tell you what's changed. Um, if you can't see deals, by the way, guys, in your uh, show my more menu at the bottom, um, we maybe that you don't ha actually have this toggled on. So just reach out to the guys in support and they'll help you with that. 
Okay, um, so essentially, as I said, we can set up diff different pipelines within deals. So you may have one for consultancy, you may have one for um, benchmarking, you may have recruitment projects. What we've done is we've added from the table view, as Matt is very expertly showing you here, um, a quick view of your deal. So you can see now the pipeline across the top has changed. This is can be defined by you. So what do you want those, uh, those deals to say at each different stage of the sales process? It isn't shortlisted, interview sent. Um, placed is it engaged is it demo is it proposal um, you choose what those chevrons say it's a piece of feedback that we get quite a lot people like to name their own chevrons so that's absolutely fine this is the quick view and if I want to go from the quick view of a deal to a big view of a deal I've got a new button on the top right hand side there where I can just slide out and slide back in again. Now I know, particularly for Vinny customers, what the next question is probably going to be. Don't worry. Yes, we are doing that elsewhere in the system as well. So we'll, we'll come to roadmap right at the end of the session, but let's stick with deals for now. Okay, so what I can do as well, if we just move across slightly, Matt, to the three dots, I can now add comments um, and activities into my into my deal. So as I'm, I'm, I'm nurturing this deal, I'm adding the comments just like you would do in a contact a job, etc. Um, and I can filter on those activities. So if I want to look at, you know, all um, BD calls done against a deal for, what, for whatever reason, then I can I can filter. Okay. Now, with a quick add, um, you must obviously be able to add deals from the quick add. You can add anything else into the Jerry, candidates, contacts, invoices, companies, whatever. You can now add deals as well. But when you do so, at that point of adding the deal, you also be able to define the group and the brand and the division as well. So you've got some extra fields there that you can include in your quick ad. So when that deal comes into the deal pipeline, it comes in with all of the required information and it's sat exactly in the right place um, in your business. Okay, so that's quite a nice one. Um, I've talked about um, um, jobs and I've talked about the deal, but how do you bring the two together? So this is the money shot for me. And um, we'll go back to my um, my my example of running a big recruitment project where you've got lots and lots of jobs and you want them all to feed into one deal what we've done is we've given you the ability to link jobs to deals now you guys have got a choice you can either do it as Matt is showing you here where from a deal so you'd set up your project first and then you bring in those additional jobs which are sat on your system there's a list and you can select which ones you want to bring into that deal to increase that deal value. If you wanted to do that the other way around um, and add a job and link that job to the deal at that point, stick with me here, guys. Um, you can add the job um, and then just a bit further down, there's a new tab in the quick add for jobs, which is linked to deal. So there's two ways of doing it, okay? Um, you can either have it from the job or from the deal. And of course, because it's been cherry, we've added in some automation for you guys as well. So Matt, if you can click out of the quick ad for me um, and just see if I can just divert your eyes to the little um, one section, the little thumbs up. Now, of course, if you win this deal, you want to click that button, you know, all hoo-ha will happen and we celebrate, we gong, we bell, whatever we do as salespeople. However, you can automate the winning of a deal by a few different ways. You can change the status of a deal or you can have the automation set up and I won't show you this now so you'll just have to take my word for it um, you can have the automation set up so that when either one job or a group of jobs move to placed in your CRM or your ATS that automatically moves the deal status to one so it's just true Vincherry style removing clicks wherever we can for you guys okay so, um, and the last thing, if I just ask you, Matt, to go back into the table view of the uh, of the deal, um, you know, we love a smart view. So if we can pop over yeah, into the we smart, love a smart view, view, we do love a smart view. Um, so if we go over into the columns, you can see we've really built these out. So the information you want to see on the front page of your deal table, just like jobs, just like contact candidates and everything else is down to your personal preference. So we can set up those smart views. We can move the fields around with this, a, a whole bunch of, of configuration there um, for you guys. So that was super quick. 
Um, what I'd say is, you know, if, if you've already got it enabled, go in, test the, the changes, link some jobs into there. Um, you know, if you're looking at your business and you're thinking, you know, you're not quite at the point where you've moved fully into the MSP RPO space where you're going to need to be thinking about VMS systems and that kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe you were looking at investing in a separate CRM to handle that side of your business. Rest assured you don't need to. Um, have a play with this. This can really help you on that track transition into into that space that's it for me Fun, well not not for the webinar but for deals <laughs> for you deals. don't get rid of me that easily anything that i've missed guys i don't think so i think the main takeaway for deals really is how configured these pipelines are so if you're sat here now and you're thinking hmm, what would we actually use this for you know the, the the possibilities are endless because you literally as you can see configure every pipeline um, every stream, depending on what you want to use it for. And you just literally move from left to right. As Don mentioned, you've got automation built in there. You can create custom fields in these sections in here. Really, really nice and easy to, to use. So if you haven't already looked at deals, or maybe you're thinking, maybe I've not really got a use case, try it. Reach out to us, toggle it on, and then see if it works for you. Um, keep, your, keep you inside, Vinny. I think any, any business that you're pitching for outside of a job, that has you know one requirement one candidate you can you can bring this into play yeah absolutely i also it's really lame but i love this little this little button i think it's great it's very addictive to keep uh, keep clicking i've had quite a bit of feedback on that <laughs> believe it's it or cool. not um perfect okay so that's deals the next thing to run on to guys is the updates to live list so i'm not going to ramble on about how good the live list is because hopefully every single one of you on this call is already using it but in case you're not i'll just give you a very brief overview of what the live list is so if we jump into vincero so we go into a job that i'm working on so i'm currently working on a um, cso role for mercedes-benz and i've got five candidates in my shortlist so i've got raheem sterling lizzie windsor pep guardiola gwen stefani and paula mccartney so in essence, now I want to share these really good candidates with my client. I want them to, I want to, you know, them to see them straight away um, when they come in first thing on, in the morning or in the afternoon. And essentially, I've got three candidates here pending action. So I haven't sent Raheem, Pep or Gwen yet. But if I want to send them now really, really quickly and easily, all I've got to do is check the box against them at the top, go across to send and then choose next. OK. Essentially, now we've changed the look and feel of how you use and how you send the live list just to make it much, much easier and kind of user friendly. So it's split into two tabs. We've got a list tab and we've got an email tab. So in the list, all I need to do is choose whether I want to share the names, the employers, maybe files. Maybe I want to go through and share Gwen's CV. So I can go through and I can find the CV I want to share. OK, and I can go through and click it. If I'm not really too sure which document this is, so I've clicked Gwen's template PDF, I need to check that it's right. I can actually click through to that and that will show me the CV in real time. So I don't have to click anywhere else or go to a new tab. It's all there visible for me. And again, if that's the wrong one or I want to add another one, I can click through and have a look at this one. And then another one appears, so on, so on, so on. So you can attach it up to five different documents um, if you want to. And the one we're gonna go with is this one here, her best looking CV on file. So that's really nice and slick. I can also attach any videos, any videos that we've done, so any candidate interviews if I like as well to the live list. And then finally, I can add any notes. So these are pulling directly from the brief section on a candidate's profile. So as we can see, we've got client report, we've got consultant comments, we've got mine and Abby's brief. And in this occasion, I want to choose consultant comments. Really, really nice and easy. When you've kind of got all the documents sent and all the briefs and the videos, what you then do, it's really cool, Go into the new tab, email. And this is where you can preview this email live in real time. Again, you can change things like the logo around. They'll all pull automatically from your admin settings anyway. But what's really cool about this now is you can actually view the brief and the documents pr prior. So previously, you kind of had a wildcard there and it said hashtag the table. You didn't really know what it was going to look like until you'd sent it. Whereas now you can make sure you're happy with this. You can change text around. You can preview it. And just make sure before you send this out to your clients that you're really happy and it's slick and it looks looks the part um, like so. When you're happy, all you need to do is just hit send and that will then send that straight away off to the client um, to consider those candidates for the role. So that's the kind of first change there in terms of the formatting and, and bits like that. 
the final few changes, and again, I ramble on about the live list because I love it. It's, it's such a such a good feature of Vinny, is if we go into the sent stage, we can see these candidates we've sent to the client. Really important here, guys, kind of middle right-hand corner, you've got go to live list. Do you want to get back to that live list really, really quickly? But you've also got live list settings. And again, we've built these out into two different tabs just to make it a bit easier, a bit, um, bit more user-friendly. So now as a consult consultant, I can define what I want to share. So photo, job title, location, brief. I can share things like ratings, work history, education. There's all sorts here. You can toggle this on or off in real time. And then the second tab is your theme configuration. So this is where you can do things like your marketing team will go to town on this. You can do branding, you can do different logos. You can share your logo or maybe the client's logo, Mercedes-Benz or your brand logo. It's really up to you how you configure um, this section. If I just give you a very quick look at the live list, so if we go back to this button and we choose go to live list, essentially this is what the live list looks like. So it's fully branded, it's real time, and there we go. As the client, I can now click through to Gwen. I can see her photo, her rating, the consultant comments and any scores I've given. I can view work history. Um, she's got a lot of it. She's worked all over the place by the looks of things, Gwen Stefani has. Um, education history. And then finally, I can click through to the CV as well um, if I want to view them. So it's a really one-stop shop, really slick tool for your clients. Um, I could go on and on and on. I'm going to stop on the live list because I'm conscious we want to go through pay and build things <laughs> as well. But the, the main takeaways from the updates to the live list are essentially when you're sending it, you've got the email templates which you can view. You can view the CV at the point of sending. And of course, you've got these live list settings here as well. One final thing I would note, if you're an admin on the call and thinking, oh my goodness, people are going to be changing the theme, the brand, and we're not going to have any control, you can set this on a per job basis, or if you want, you can set it as a brand-wide basis inside admin settings. So if you are an admin, if you are the marketing manager now and you're freaking out, don't. If you go into settings, general settings, right down to number nine, this is where you can configure this for the whole company. So every consultant doesn't even need to look at this. They will just choose the, the brand default set here. And that's the yeah, livest. I, I, I'm not a marketing manager and I was freaking out for them <laughs> for a minute there, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. You can do this on a global uh, level so that you you know you you retain that one one brand, one one tone of voice, but there might just be that one job where you want to present those candidates in a slightly different way. Um so we just want to be able to give you the best of both worlds, really. Um yeah. with that. Absolutely. And guys, if you are, if you want more on the live list, if you're thinking, this is great, we, we don't know what this is, we want to use it, you know, reach out to us. Don't, don't just, uh, sit there and struggle in silence. Reach out to us. We do webinars just on the live list. So we go half an hour just running through the power of the live list. You know, clients that use this well, they make more money. They sell it on retainers. They have a better USP. It's, it's really slick. So it's a shame if you're sat here not using it because you, you definitely should be. Um, it looks beautiful on the mobile, right, as well. So it does look, it does look really slick. So if your clients are on the move, um, you're sending them your shortlist, your talent pools, depending on, on how you operate, they'll, that will, they'll be pinged and they can, they can just view this on their phone um, and they won't lose any functionality. There won't be any kind of, you know, the lines all cutting out or anything. They'll be able to see everything um, in a mobile view. And without opening up too much of a can of worms, also accessible via the client portal, have to add in. Absolutely. That's a separate session as well, the client board. Yeah, so not sorry, that I'm not going there. <laughs> but just FYI. Um, one, this is why um, you stopped me from coming on webinars, Matt. This is why I got fired, right? <laughs> sell, 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 sell. Um, one final thing, actually, which I forgot, which is really cool, which we added, is the stats view. So again, as the client now, there's intelligence here. There's reporting the stats. So I can see how many candidates I've got and how what's the employer spread and last activity date just by click of a button here. I can do actions within here. There's all sorts you can do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish myself consultants as well, right? You can you can see how many views you've had and yep. all sorts from the views and all sorts. From the, from the, yeah, nice. Proper free, uh, 360 approach. Um, yeah. but anyway, that's the live list. Hope you're putting lots of questions in the chat, guys. Any questions you've got, stick it in the chat. One of our mods will happily answer those questions for you. But with no further ado, why don't we jump on to pay and bill? The exciting things everyone's been waiting for. Loads of feedback for these, which is really, really good. Yep. So Anita. Well, Lovely. Let me just share up. my screen. And we'll try and keep this short and sweet, but there have been lots of updates. So, um, yeah, like uh, quite excited to show you. 
Right, um, I'd like to start. So uh, can you just see my screen? Just make sure you can see everything. Yeah. Oh, good. Absolutely. Cool. Oh, we've got the Let's... cast of The Simpsons in here. <laughs> yeah, keep it nice and memorable mm -hmm. here. So we've got the whole family here. And Matt, that puts through. you to shame. I know it does. <laughs> Matt's like, Safari, damn though. it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everyone will remember who these guys are. Like, who doesn't know who The Simpsons are? Right, let me go into uh, availability, first of all. So um, you can update this from a few different places. Um, what I'm going to start with is where you can update it in Vincherry directly. So I'm going to jump into Maggie's profile. And what you'll do is it'll bring up the candidate profile as normal. And uh, there's this new uh, like a availability tab. So you can see that's right at the end here. So I'm just going to click on that. And you'll see that there's a, you can see it's blank at the moment because we haven't actually added any availability in. But what you can do now is you can update that. So I'm just going to select edit. So another screen will pop up. And here you can just press the plus button. And what we'll do, we'll bring up a little kind of a, a view and you can kind of amend what dates they're available. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Uh, I'll leave this as weekly. And what I'll do is I'm gonna update her availability Monday to Friday up until I'm gonna change it to the end of Feb. We go on the 28th. You can add any notes in if you'd like to, but all you need to do is just select save. And you can see now that's just updated to say that she's now available. And when we're applying our searches later on, you can now uh, use availability as a search criteria. Yeah, that's that the mean, true magic of, of the availability the shows, isn't it, Anita? That's yeah, really, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And when we go on to later on onto the shift scheduler, mm -hmm. it's very, very good. Do enjoy that. Mm -hmm. So um, that is from uh, Vincherry directly. What I'm going to show you as well is the candidate themselves can update their availability directly from TimeTemp. So uh, let me just go into their profile on TimeTemp. Yeah, this is a big update, a big change, isn't it, really, to be able to update that from TimeTemp, you know, as a one-stop yes. shop, candidates can try and use time temp from a you know, myriad of things rather than just entering you know, time and expenses and those sort of things as well, which is great. Yeah, exactly. So obviously initially, like I'm assuming the recruiter will go in and add the availability themselves and then moving forward, the candidate can be actively encouraged to apply their own availability. So um, this, uh, you just press the quick add. So I'm in Lisa's profile here just to add. Yeah, so viewing the system plus. as the candidate now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And here, just exactly where they'd be adding their timesheets on previously, right at the bottom here, you've got some add availability. And you'll see it looks exactly like the one in Vincherry. So it kind of feeds through the feel of it as well. And uh, what I'm going to do exactly as I did before, I'm going to leave the times to say, oh, and apply a weekly repeat. And what I'll do is I'm going to add the availability Monday to Friday, just as before, right until the end of February. And if I just select save. This will, once I go back into Vincherry, so let me just go back onto uh, the availability over here. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go onto Lisa's profile. And what this will do is once you refresh the pages, you'll be able to see that availability pull through uh, from Vincherry. You can see here, that's now time. updated from time temp into Vincherry directly. So, you know, that'll be actively updating. And then when you're applying these templates, you'll be able to see uh, that candidates availability as well. So uh, any questions or any other questions about availability, just pop it in the chat. But what I'm gonna do now, if we're happy, I'm just gonna move on to job templates. And uh, these have had quite a, a big overhaul uh, from the previous um, like, a, a, like format yeah. of what they previously yeah. were. Big upgrade from the pay and bill templates, isn't it, effectively? So yeah. now we can have these component-based. So rather than having one pay and bill template try to fit every customer, uh, you can build out all the sections themselves, every configuration you want, and actually could just pull them together into a job template, which is, you know, a great way of, you know, utilising your time much more efficiently. So. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. And uh, this is new, the search templates. So you can see I've built out a few uh, in my system already, but here's my Simpson one. I'm just going to select edit here, but you can create as many as you'd like. And you'll see as we go through, you can apply these to your job templates. So that means that you can have something that's client specific and it will pull through a search. So it'll pull through your ideal candidates when you're at that shift scheduler stage as well. Now, let me just select edit on here so you can kind of see the format of these templates. So all we've done is we've just built out a simple search name um, so it's available later on in the system from a drop down and you can fill these out as to as much detail as you require so i've just uh, obviously for my skill i've just included simpson to keep it simple but you can include other like features or other certain skills that fit your ideal worker for that client and you can kind of go through and include industry and experience and uh, there's some other areas here that you can include as well so we suggest having a play with these as well, uh, just to fit your criteria and just select save when you're done. So it's available for you. I'll leave that as it is. And then now 
will go uh, jump into the actual job templates themselves. We'll go through each of those configurable co components that Doug mentioned, and we'll show you how to build that out in the final job template here. So if we start with time interpretation, you can see I'll jump in with one of my simple uh, examples here. So I've got my example one, I select edit, so essentially here you're building out any kind of uh, like time interpretation that you'll link with your rate cards and uh, it will pull through any kind of rules that you have um, uh, that goes alongside your uh, job template. So um, this is quite a simple one. It's just with any kind of base pay rate. And you can see you can select this from a drop down that you would have configured previously. Uh, for this, I've included any uh, periods. I've included all days. Uh, the rule is anything above zero hours will pull through at that base pay rate. And if I just come out of here, I'm just going to show you a slightly more complex one so you can kind of get the idea of the flexibility of these templates. So here we go, exactly the same. So I've just kept uh, like a memorable name from here. You can include certain rules uh, up here as well, including the start of the week and the cycle. And you can see I've built it out a little bit more. So here I've included my base pay rate. So that's my main rate. So anything during the week that's under eight hours will pull through at the base pay rate. And I have a, an additional rule here. So anything uh, for time and a half, anything during that week that's above that eight hours will pull through at the time and a half rate with the exceptions being for the weekend that uh, there's double pay for both days, Saturday and Sunday here. And essentially anything under the eight hours will pull through at these rates. And in just a moment, you'll see when we're going through our rate card, uh, we'll apply rates that fit these rule names as well. And it will pull through those rules alongside those rates with that job template. Worth mentioning as well, if you don't see, sorry, oh, sorry, those, 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 those payable <laughs> names, they'll be in the yes. config table. So if you don't see one there that you want to see, you expect to see, then just have one in. Um, yep. And so you come back to this and just come back and update it later on as well. Oh, spooky dog, that was yeah. spooky. I was going to say, don't forget, guys, you can name your payroll. Oh, there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the same way. Like one mind. <laughs> One and, much cleverer than the other. <laughs> <laughs> and this, I know, Doug, this is your favourite area here, the on costs. Yeah, I love this bit, yeah. So what I'm going to do so is I'm going to nice. jump into uh, I'll jump into the UK standards as an example. But essentially now you can build out your on costs as well, and uh, you can build them out to a bit more of a like a high level of detail. So I'm just going to go with these examples here. So we have WTR again selected from that configurable table and from a drop down, and you can calculate uh, again. You can apply this to any of your on costs, but as an example, you can include number or percentage. So we've included percentage for our holiday uh, at 12.07. And here, the additional area that's uh, that kind of the improvement on this is that you can apply it to total pay and you can also go to the level in that you can apply it to certain rates as well. So you just select the plus and then you can select any additional rates uh, from here. Yeah, See great use for customers that down. have different you know, rates of uh, tax against different particular pay rates as well. So we know we have yeah. lots of customers that have that now, uh, which is great. Obviously, different regions around uh, that we supply to. So I think, yeah, it's great that we can offer that um, that configurability because that's the feedback we've received is they want that yeah, lots, and we've delivered on that lots now, and lots of positive great. feedback on this area as well yeah exactly also Especially. retaining retaining the same access they had before so you can still calculate you know on both your pay and obviously on your holiday pay if you're calculating your employers and i that still works out you just have to configure it in here where you do calculation based on as well yeah exactly and again with the employers and i like we said we've applied this to our total pay and our uh, wtr as above and again applying it to certain rates and once you're happy again just name your template anything that's um, like memorable and just select save so you can use that moving forwards the beauty of that being you could use it against all of your templates right so you don't have to yeah. just configure it one time that's it, it exactly through to your template. Yeah. exactly whereas previously you may have had to calculate multiple templates you've now configured that once and then you'll just add it from a drop down so lots of time savings here as well moving forward and then the final area here that I'm going to jump into before we build our job template is the rate card template so again these will be in alignment with your time interpretation and if I just go through so for instance I'm going to start with my rate card one so that would be in alignment with my first uh, time interpretation which was just the base pay rate and here you can see I've included the pay and the charge element so it just means that uh, anything with that time interpretation and this rate type will pull through in alignment with each other and again, you'll just save that when you're ready. And what I want to do is, again, just an example, I'll show you the one that's slightly more complex and just some of the additional features of this. So this one included uh, the additional exceptions. So you can see here the original base pay and the charge rate is here. But what we have as well is we've included a multiplier. So 
So it just means, say, for instance, with my time and a half here, um, it's at my second pay level and the multiplier I have in place is a percentage. So you do have the option to manually update your rates. But if you just know that it's going to be a time and a half uh, against your base pay rate, I've included 150% to go with my time and a half. And you can see that's updated my charge rate uh, automatically and my pay rate. And exactly the same here with my double pay. It will, put, it will always use your base pay as um, the main, like uh, at the start point for this change. But I've applied that multiplier again as 200% and update your pay and your charge automatically as well. Yeah, it saves time later on, doesn't it? If you change the pay rate later, it'll just calculate this using the same percentages for your time yeah. and a half and your double time. So you're always making sure you're paying yeah, your charge exactly. the correct amounts. Exactly. It's nice assurance that mm -hmm. you're going to have uh, like a, a good pay and bill experience in that ideally the invoices will be all correct as you've spent the time configuring these areas here. Exactly. So as a candidate then, or as a, as a contractor or temp, I'm out there working away, mm -hmm. adding time onto mm -hmm. the door clock or whatever, and that time is automatically attributed to the right payroll, yeah. the right part, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly, so, so the candidate yeah. experience exactly the same. They'll be submitting their time work as usual, and from a pay and bill perspective, because it's pre-configured and because it's set in place, those invoices will be, you've got a bit more insurance that they'll come through correctly. Yeah, yeah saves the consultant's time. They don't have to worry about calculating that on the fly. They'll just yeah. calculate automatically, which is yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you'll see that benefit where uh, once we've gone through how to build the job templates, I'll show you how to apply them to a job and moving forward. And you'll see that time saving that you'll get moving forward. Now, here we are. We're just in the job templates now. And we're going to show you how to build out that template. So I'm going to use Converse as my example. So I've got my Converse one over here. Just going to select edit. So um, you'll see here. This is essentially how you build out your template. So over on the side here, I've included my name and my favorite feature of uh, the new updates is the fact that you can manage uh, do the time management from the template directly. So previously it was uh, managed on a placement level, but now you can configure this to the job template. It means it will save a lot of time moving forward uh, when you're adding your approvers. So you can see here under time management, you have the option of manual or Vincherry pay and bill. This is already pre-configured as Vincherry pay and bill. If I just switch it slightly so you can see, uh, when I switch it to Vinjeri Pay and Bill, that tab pops up here. And we'll just have to ensure that it's in alignment with a, a client as well, just so it pulls through the right approvers. If I just jump onto this tab, this is um, what you would have seen previously. You'll just need to select your approvers, which will be uh, in alignment with your uh, contact anyway. You can also include whether you uh, include expenses and leave. That will be all managed from this area as well. And again, the approvers can be managed from here as well. Just mean that that will pull through automatically when you're adding your job template later on. And here we go. So here's how you build out your template. So here you can see they're pre-selected, but these are the configurable areas that we mentioned earlier. So um, those rate cards that you build out, you can select them from a drop down here. So you can see I've included my rate card one. You can include your on-cost template from here as well. And you can include your time interpretation. So this has already been selected from the drop down. And if you'd like to, you can also include that search template as well. You can also manage the permissions as well. So what can be uh, edited from later on when you're applying your placements. And you can also, uh, what I'll do is I'll jump in here, just so uh, where you've added these templates, you can just jump in and review again. Yeah, and the key word there is can, isn't it? So you can yeah. pull them through if you don't want to, you don't have to. So they are configurable by design. Yeah. So those job templates, you don't need to pull through every single aspect. It might just be the on cost you're looking for. You know, it's mm -hmm. pretty caring every time. You can just build that out if you wanted to instead. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh, you can see as well when you're building these templates, I know I pulled through uh, some information here, but you can all, also leave them as custom. And if you're creating a template, it might just be the rates that you just want to have them on that individual template, you can amend that from here. And uh, that will be unique to that job template as well. So there's certain areas that you can use or that you can utilize depending on uh, what your business requires. It's a lot of flexibility here. Definitely. So just show you here. So I really again, like the permissions as well, Anita, because um, yeah, you might you might be in a in a in a situation whereby for a job template you would absolutely be happy with a recruiter amending the search criteria mm -hmm. if they wanted to point the search at a different group of candidates. But yeah. you might not want them going in and playing around with payrolls and rates. So to have yeah um, the ability to change permissions on different templates, I think that was a real yeah, win. Yeah, that that's a lot of the feedback that we've got. We want they want the recruiter to amend the rates and the search rules, but not the on cost or the time interpretation. Right. So it depending yeah, on the cool. client requirements, they can toggle these on and off and use them or like as little or as much as they'd like to. Beautiful. Lovely. So um, if we're happy with um, job templates, 
what I'll do is I'm going to show you how you would apply these job templates later on. So here we go. So I'm just, all I've done is gone via the quick ad and I've just uh, started to add my job. So again, I pull through my client, my uh, like a key contacts and my, um, my job type is temporary and uh, aligned it with my shift template. So I have a preset template for my client as well. So these again are all available from drop downs. So you can see, you can pre-configure them or you can amend them manually. It depends on what you require. And then here we go. So here, the next option is, is to apply a job template. So this will originally pull through as custom, but you can here, like uh, once you select the drop down, pull through uh, my job template that I've created. You can see some of the fields gray out. So this is in alignment with that job template. Mm -hmm. and it'll pull through the rates but you do still have elements of flexibility here you just need to select the pay and bill settings okay let me move that back over and you can see again i can amend uh, any approvals if i needed to or you do have the flexibility at this level as well to change uh, the uh, elements of the rate card so it might just be that you want to apply a slightly different rate maybe um, the uplifted rate you can select from a drop down or as i mentioned earlier you can just select custom and update and update these manually as required. So you, you do have that flexibility. Uh -huh. And again, how good is this? This is great. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Mind blowing, isn't it? I just can't imagine. Years how, of customer I mean, feedback. We get we exactly. get excited. I can't imagine how accounts teams <laughs> feel. I mean, Anita, yeah. you've come from recently from from that side of the fence, haven't you? Doing kind yeah. of accounts and payroll in a large recruitment company. I mean, how how would have this gone down? <laughs> Very, very team. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were very excited in pay and bill when these came through, especially, like I said, this where you can manage that uh, approval level uh, at one click. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very good, especially because from a recruiter perspective, uh, it's nice and quick for like the recruiter to add that uh, the rules mm -hmm. in. But from a pay and bill perspective, it's a lot of assurance to know that the rules are there, the rates are there, the time interpretation. I'm going to have a good invoicing experience and uh, mm -hmm. like moving forward. And obviously the candidate's going to be happy that they probably won't have any amendments either. And don't forget, yeah. guys, you know, training is always key for us. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm kind of speaking for Matt here because it's, it's his, more his department. But um, <laughs> I, I know from firsthand that, you know, it, it, whilst this is great, there's a lot going on. Um, and, you know, we will we, make sure that you, you're kind of a job template pro. Um, yes before yeah, we pull, pull away from your training so um don't worry we won't just send you this webinar and tell you to get on with it um you'll, you'll be fully fully trained and on, on how to use it yeah of course always feed uh, like um contact support or you can obviously jump, drop any messages in the chat as well but we'll give you as much support as you can in regards to how to use these job templates effectively now uh, once we're happy i'm just going to jump back into this as well so we can move on to the shift scheduler um I'm happy that I've applied my template. I'm just going to go to save and view. And what this will do, this will jump you uh, straight into the shift scheduler. And then we'll be able to kind of go through the next stages of applying those candidates to those bookings and applying those new templates. See that job's now dropped in at the top. Um, before I start, I just want to add in uh, the new view that we have. So we've always had the weekly and monthly view. You now have a day view. This is obviously off the back of feedback we've had from clients as well. So it can be that you can change this view here. You can see I've got the full day written three little three hour segments here with the trigger of the start date of the assignment falling into the relative bracket. And you can change this as well to an hourly view. So let me just apply that. So it can be that you can see all your different jobs and you can apply all your filters as well as relevant. Mm. So what I'm going so to do many that, updates just, on the shift editor, isn't there? So many. Exactly. That's yeah. just brushing the surface. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just to keep it, you know, like just how uh, similar to how we have before, I'm just going to drop us straight back into the weekly view. And I'll show you how you can assign those workers and apply some of those templates. So this is the new bulk book feature from um, for Cherry. So all I've done is I've clicked on my um, shift here and I'm going to go to assign workers. And what I'll do is I'll apply it to all shifts just so I can show you. Uh, what new tools that you can use in this area as well. You can see here, there's a new tab, um, like in this area here called search. And this will always pull through. If you have any search templates, it will pull through the search that's linked with that template. But if you have another search template in mind, you can always just select from a drop down, or again, use custom and kind of create that search on the hoof, depending on what you require. I'm going to leave it as my Simpson search. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select search. 
and this will pull through anyone that's meet, meeting that requirement. So again, where we touched on availability previously, where I've updated the availability of uh, my guys here, you can see uh, they're available and they also meet my criteria. So again, use those templates as much or as little as you need, but obviously it's quite helpful to know that we can book people that I know that are going to be available as well. And from here, you have a couple of options. If you know you're going to want to book them directly, you can just select book to this shift and it will book them and go through the stages of sending out those emails. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pre-book so you can kind of see in a bit more detail the options that you have for uh, the bulk book. There we go. They're all in my pre-book status here. I'm just going to go through this quite quickly and go through to the book candidate stage just so I can show you the new bulk book. So this again, is all new now, is isn't it? This is all new, right? So yeah. this is pay attention, very, very guys. If you have any questions on this, look how excited Doug is. I love this. Pay love attention, this guys. So, it's so good. This is no great. more I jumping about between this. the shift schedule and the placement. Down. Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> Exactly. This is, again, very uh, exciting area and I always get lots of positive feedback when I show this bit as well. So just to kind of recap, here's my pay and bill tab and you can see from here my mm. template has been applied and that will just pull through my rates and everything from here as well. And I'm just going to jump onto the placement area. So this is the bit, as Doug just mentioned a moment ago, uh, previously um, the user would have had, a, had to have gone in individually to kind of sync these uh, candidates over to time temp. We can now do that via like a couple of clicks, which is a, a, a big time savings as well. If you think about the minutes it took before, you know, now yeah. as minutes have gone, right? So how many more bookings can you make in that time? So exactly. Many more. Yeah. Exactly, and where it's all pre-configured as mm -hmm. well, you're comfortable that the information's correct going through as well. So mm -hmm. it's all just a, a big win in, the, in my book. So um, I'm just showing you again, here are my contract dates that uh, was set up alongside my template. Again, here are my approvers that um, are uh, pulled through from that template as well. So you can go in and update these on an individual level if you require. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I'm going to keep everything the same and I'm going to go straight through to book candidates. And you can see uh, this is the validation screen. So this is the validation that's always occurred. You can see everything is OK, nice and green. So it's positive. That's all done via one click. Once I select submit. That now means that uh, um, all those nice notifications are nice sent out. That? So good. So nice <laughs> yeah, to that, exactly. that pop up, all okays. Yep, brilliant. Lovely. Yeah, exactly. And, and the I've chat got right that. now is going crazy. If you have a look at the <laughs> chat, there's like fire emojis in there and everything. <laughs> exactly. And I've got a nice big ping in my ear, which means all my, uh, they, they've been successful. They've all gone through. And um, those candidates have now been booked in. So the recruiters are notified of that booking, the clients notified of the booking, and the candidates notified, and they're all sent their time temp leggings and their uh, logins, and they're all ready to carry on and say need to submit timesheets, approve timesheets, and go through straight to the pain bill uh, area. Well, like I said, so wow. From... wow. Yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Bonita, get that mic and chuck it on the floor. I know, very it's good. nice to say. Very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. All from feedback, though, from customers, right? Feedback, yeah. plus our own roadmap. That's how we've got to this stage. So, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I mean, even if you don't work in the accounts, guys, you've got to be pretty impressed by that. It's pretty slick. Well mm. done, Anita. Yep. No, I absolutely love this. Very good. Cool. So, that's mainly it from me. Nice high level overview. But again, any questions, just drop them in the chat. Well, well, well. Matthew, we need to up our game. <laughs> we do, we do. And, and that's the, the thing with the paying bill is people that were probably front office probably switched off at that part of the section. But, you know, any back office team on the call, teams on the call, sorry, or accountants, you know, that, this is slick. You know, this is really, we, we, it could hours and hours to cover this. So I think if you are struggling, you want some more training or support, you know, let us know. Uh, and we'll run through this with you because it, it, it's kind of the short term pay and long term gain. Spend an hour setting them up. When they're done, they're done. They're done forever until you need to make a change. Yeah. And then you can instantly book hundreds of people, right, into a shift with time temp in one click. So yeah, it's exactly. really, really awesome. Well, I say we do have plenty of, of recruiters that book in 20s, 30s, 40s that would have had to go through book, 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 mm. book, book. Um, I can think of a few. I don't know if they're on the, on the webinar, so I won't name and shame. But um, I can think of one guy that... Um, um, timed me to book 40 people once on a, on a demo <laughs> and I wish I'd have had to make me eat his words <laughs> um, yeah. so no that's 
that, that that's really good um guys if you like your webinars and um you want to you want more um or it, you know if you've got new starters if you want to kind of ever refresh your your vincherry knowledge then um, we're always here for you vincherry.io forward slash webinars all of our webinars are available to re-watch or watch for the first time so head on over everything from you know the shiny stuff the live list the mobile app right all the way through the product um right into into pay and bill and invoicing so do check it out absolutely and guys if you do want a bit more bespoke private one-on-one -on -one training let us know we're here for you you know please 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 don't struggle in silence no, custom success of in cherries is to make sure you're successful so we need to make sure that's the case so head to our help center search for training academy and then we can get you booked in with some of our pay and bill team or our core trainers or our libelous trainers or we've got trainers for every part of any so please please don't struggle in silence um also follow us on instagram and linkedin and social and twitter all of those accounts we, we post loads of really good updates on there and competitions and quizzes so if you're not already following us make sure make sure you do um and guys we've kind of gone over i think we got way too carried away with just how <laughs> exciting 17.2 was always going to <laughs> um, when you look at what we've covered off availability you know shift scheduler job templates you can all go if you want we're yeah. just gonna have a private fight <laughs> um, um, guys, if you if you are sitting on the webinar and i do I know, I know there's some names that i don't recognize so if you if you are sitting on the webinar and you are not a current vincherry customer um and you want to see what that's what that's like then it's my team head over and um, give us a shout go on the website request a demo and um, we'd be more than happy to help you absolutely and guys we hope you've enjoyed it um any questions put it in the chat hopefully you've been interacting with the chat throughout let us know your feedback the final thing just to finish up on while we wait for any further questions is you know we are really open to feedback guys so all of those pay and bill updates are from customer feedback we haven't thought of them you guys innovate for us and we don't want you to stop that so you know head into um our product board if you haven't already seen it i'll just go through into it now which is this one here so this is where you can submit feature requests. You can let us know exactly what your feedback is. You can view new products we're launching. You can view our roadmap. It's great, really interactive. Bookmark this. If you haven't already got it, bookmark it. Um, I'll put the link in the chat now so you don't have to try and, try and memorize this very long URL. Um, click through, give it a bookmark. And just, we really want to partner with our customers to make sure we make the product the best it could possibly be. Um, and we're still very, very, very far away from that. We're nearly there, but we've still got a long way to go. As you can see, there's quite a lot coming in the various various areas. Mm. Um, but yeah, thanks, team, for um, this four-person webinar. <laughs> and uh, let's yes, uh, let's on to the next Pleasure. one.